Okay, here we are again with Cyclomatic Power Plus. It's been about two months since I got the bike. I haven't ridden it every day to work, but I've tried to uh, tried to do it as much as possible. See, I've added a speedometer or cycle computer, I should call it, which has a little magnet that goes on there or receiver that goes on there, and then there's a little magnet there. I don't know if I said in the movie before, but I've added these on the front and the back wheels, which uh, flash when the wheel goes round, and they're brilliant. As I'm coming home from work in the dark, everyone is looking at the bike. Got me two lights on the front. Now, after the two, about two months I've been riding it to work on and off, I have two major gripes, and I will show you what these major gripes are. I'm trying to do this one-handed and sit on the bike. Okay. Right. I haven't got it plugged in. I haven't got the key in there at the moment, but I can tell you. So, right, when you're riding along, you're riding along like that. To change down gear, you, you use the lever. To change up, you press that button. What invariably happens when you're going over bumps and you're going along and you put your th thumb over there to turn the thing into the next gear sometimes you can accidentally hit the on off button when you're doing that you've got no electric power very very easy either when you're going towards it or coming back to just touch that I've done it many many times and when you're not going under electrical power whatsoever it's like cycling through treacle it's really quite difficult it is a very heavy bike uh, in my job, I get the opportunity to ride a, a mountain bike that's worth about £1,500, Smith & Wesson mountain bike. Very, very good quality. Very, very light. And it was surprising the difference in weight after picking this up and then picking that up. It's a huge difference. So when you're not using electrical power, whether it be under pedal assist or on full power, it does make a huge difference, huge, huge difference. So you really don't want to, especially if you're going up a hill, you don't want to be accidentally knocking that. The other thing, when you're going downhill, the complete opposite, because it's only got seven gears, it's not enough. It's nowhere near enough. You really need at least double that. When I'm in seventh gear going down, not an enormous hill, but you know, a reasonable hill where I certainly don't have to pedal, I have to stop pedaling. I cannot, my legs are going around like the clappers if I keep pedaling. It's just, really not enough gears having said that the go cycle which is extremely expensive although it looks nice that's only got three gears so whether the same applies to that i don't know but it really really isn't enough gears why they've only put seven gears on it i don't know why they can't have 21 like a normal mountain bike is beyond me the other thing i've realized is when you're when you're going up a hill depending on the severity of the hill, put it in second or third. Um, the lower your gear, the better the electric power seems to work. So if you're going along in fourth, uh, and you start to go up a slight incline, change down to third or second, and you will get better, uh, better traction from the electric motor. If you leave it in fourth or higher than that, you'll be really struggling to get up that hill. So that's my top tip for the day. Apart from that, I'm still enjoying riding it to work, riding it to work and even up hill coming back. I, my, my journey is pretty much downhill going or on the flat. Um, but if you like uh, riding in the dark, which it doesn't bother me, uh, it's quite a pleasant ride home as well, even though I have the hills to contend with. But this does make it a lot, lot easier to get up those hills. Um, so the final thing I wanted to say about it is, I think I mentioned it in the previous videos, um, was how good the electric power is when you're on the flat according to my speedometer which is what the law allows it will take me along at 14 15 miles an hour maximum that's on the flat if you hit a hill you must must pedal they are not designed to take you up the hill under full electric power it just won't do it physically won't do it one the bike's too heavy two there's probably not enough traction anyway and three unless you weigh about five pounds 
it's, there's no no way on earth that this will take you up even the slightest of an incline on its own you will have to pedal so if you were going to buy this bike thinking like i did slightly that it would take you up hills unassisted you're wasting your time you might as well get yourself a proper electric scooter um, that looks like a normal petrol scooter but isn't if you see what i mean give you the same sort of range about 30 miles 30 miles but it will take you at 30 miles an hour um, if that's what you're expecting then spend a couple of thousand pound and get one of those but still for 399 pound bargain absolute bargain i'm thoroughly enjoying riding it um, if i ever get any more to report or if anyone's got any more questions i've answered quite a few questions on uh, youtube about the bike uh, if anyone has any questions i'll be more than happy to answer them so drop me an email that's it that's the end of my power plus cyclomatic review